Captain Doug Stanford with Texas Fish Tips this week, the fishing report. Well guys, spring break is over. Spring has sprung. It's beautiful out there. We're starting to catch all kinds of sheep's head, reds, trout. I've even seen a few sharks being caught off the beach. There's all kinds of fish along these jetties. Along those rocks, about 10, 15 foot of water, throw a nice live shrimp up in there. You'll get sheep's head, you'll get drum, you'll get just about everything else in the world. I've seen a couple of tarpon working around even. The birds are chirping and spring has sprung, so get on out here and go catch you some fish. If you get on out here by the Fina docks, incoming tide early in the morning, uh, there's usually pretty good ones right down through there, and there has been some right down there, this little pocket right here where that water swirls around. There's been some real good bull reds in there. All on shrimp, you can also throw a live uh, mullet in there. Live pin perch has been working too. If you move on past these ferries, right over here in this area, right by these walls, there's been some nice redfish of trout, drum, we've got pompano, and a few hardheads all on shrimp. So get out there and get after it, boys. All right, over in these flats right out through here. See this little cut right through here? This little bit deeper water's been holding some nice drum right in through here. You come right in here, you'll see a few boats. There's a green uh, fish house out here. And just go to get your trolling motor down and go motor around. Live shrimp has been the ticket. If you got some dead shrimp, that'll work just as good. There's also been some nice redfish in this whole area. Uh, they'll hit a cut pin perch. You'll also eat a, a cut mullet or a live finger mullet. Over here on Brown Root Flats, right down through this old Y channel, right down through there's been some black drums starting to show up. There's some reds in there. Anywhere down these channel edges, there's been some nice fish. Shrimp is catching it all, but you're starting to see a few perch in mixed in there. But if you get way back on very back in here in this little flat down through here, there's been some nice reds. You can use cut mullet or even finger mullet and freeline it out there. Uh, but there's been some nice reds in this area, but that deeper water's been holding some nice drum. That old dead shrimp. Uh, crab bites and shrimp bites on a hook seem to work pretty good. You can also use a live shrimp. Out here in front of Cove Harbor, these little rocks right down through this old gravel bank have been holding some trout. Uh, there's been some nice reds, a few black drum mixed in there, all on live shrimp. You're getting a few hard heads now that start to filter back in. But anywhere's down this ICW, anywhere's down through these flats right down through here, any of these little cuts right like here, Anyways, cuts right in here. There's been holding some nice redfish. If you ain't got a very shallow boat and you just need to fish, just pull up here, anchor your boat right there in the shallow, chunking that edge right there on it. They may be in the top of the flats. It depends on the time of the day if they're up there in that warmer water, or they may be down that little deeper water along that channel edge. But there's been lots of fish all down through here. Okay, go get them, boys and girls. Right here on the point of Mustangs, you water flow on the incoming tide. There's a couple little wells right in here. Been holding some nice trout. Uh, free line, a big old shrimp on there, hook him in the head. Just maybe a split shot and ooh la la, they some beggings in there. A nice 20, 20 inch trout. Ain't none of them dinks. Been catching some really nice ones. Any of these little wells right down through here. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.